Hey. Hey, hi. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. How are you? It's Sunday morning here. It's actually a Sunday. We, it's not Saturday night anymore. It's officially after midnight. We are up late yes. to get you this video. We're going to sleep all day. No, we're not. We say that, but we never do. <laughs> no, we, <don't. laughs> we always say it. it. never happens. But um, but thanks for being here. Um, we're happy to see you. Um, please like the video. And as always, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, it's always nice to have more people. And we did just uh, hit over 9,000 9, subscribers. That's amazing. High five. High, High five, five, you guys. You. Boom! <laughs> Sorry if I hit you in the face there, Margaret. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, thank you guys so much. We feel your love tremendously. And actually, um, tomorrow, Monday, will be three months. You know, I didn't tell you this yet. Three months and two weeks that we started doing YouTube. Oh, wow. Which I think... And we're at 9,000 already? That's amazing. I think that's pretty insane. So we feel your love and we give it right back to you. Thank you, guys. Yes, we do. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so very much. Um, so today, we're going to do a video sent to us by our officially unofficial YouTube advisor. That's right. Um, <laughs> the big man. And it's about English counties explained. We're going to find out what an English county is. <laughs> well, we're, no, we're going to have them explain to us. Okay. <laughs> so all we know about American counties is, what do we know about American counties? <laughs> Well, it's basically a boundary, a geographical location that sometimes has different laws or different sales tax. Definitely different taxes. You guys don't have that problem. County. And that's what's in each state. So each state is made up of different counties. Mm -hmm. And then in that county, you can have cities. That's really all about we, all we know. Yeah, no origins or anything about that. Don't know if your counties are different than ours. Oh, by the way, I want to say this real quick. Oh, that's right. We found out who our mystery mugger was yes, we found out the mugger's name the mugger's name is paul brown <laughs> paul brown thank you thank paul. you sir i don't know thank you in the comments section um but I, seriously we love these so much um they're awesome and we've used them several times now and we plan to use them in every video before we go on though just really quickly um wednesday's episode will be on november 24th mm -hmm. and y'all know i'm the biggest queen fan in america and sadly, um, it will be the 30th anniversary of Freddie Mercury's passing on November 24th. So there is no way we're obviously not going to be doing a video about Freddie on Wednesday's episode. So we encourage you, whether you're Queen fans or not, to please tune in. Um, because we're going to be doing something special for 30 years. So please tune in on Wednesday um, to be there with us for uh, the special edition. For I'm sure it'll be amazing. She truly is a huge Queen fan. I hope to see you there on Wednesday. So let's get to this video and learn about the English counties explained. Here, you ready? Yes. Ready, Freddy? Map men. We're tip men. And here's tip map. Map men, map men, map, map, map men. men. Like In today's farm. program, we're going to talk about counties. Counties are the building blocks that make up Britain. The units you're expected to have heard of to help place towns and villages you've not heard of, such as Wingerworth. Where? In Derbyshire. Oh, where's Derbyshire? Arguably, the county that inspires the fiercest pride and loyalty in its inhabitants is Yorkshire. Yorkshire is known for Yorkshire yeah, pudding, Yorkshire terriers and Yorkshire tea, which comes from this part of Yorkshire. With its distinctive accent, strong identity, and intense one-way rivalry with Lancashire next door, Yorkshire folk are proud to tell everyone they come across that they come from Yorkshire. And they're all wrong to do so, because Yorkshire doesn't exist. Yes, it does. All right, show me a map with Yorkshire on it. OK. Here. This map of the 39 counties of England clearly shows a county called Yorkshire. But this map of the 48 counties of England what? shows separate north, south, west, and east riding off Yorkshire, but no single county called Yorkshire. But my map is correct and up to date. And so is mine. And so is this one. What's going on? We're doing map men. No, I mean with the counties. Well, the definition of county in Britain is a minefield of anomalies, <laughs> asterisks, confusions, vague areas and contradictory Wikipedia articles. The more you look for answers about what a county really is, the more questions you come across. Which is perhaps why no one's attempted to do a video about them before. <laughs> Even Google Docs won't let you type the word county without suggesting, did you mean country? But we're not taking <laughs> citation needed for an answer. It's time to do some actual research to find out once and for all, what is a county? And go! 
I want cookies. We need those. Right, now that we've eaten all those biscuits, should we start cookies. doing some research? I've done it all. The first time England was split into what we now call counties was back in the 10th century when King Ethelstan wanted to make sure all the same laws were being obeyed and all the same I'm taxes sorry, were being that was just too funny. I can't listen anymore. Awesome. King Ethelstan. <laughs> 924 to 927. That would be why I've never heard of this 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 king. <laughs> exactly. Wow. I'm sorry. That was just really funny. I'm glad he had to say it, not us. <laughs> <clears throat> sorry, guys. I'm not 100 percent yet. I'm almost there, though. Aren't I? You're getting it. I'm really close. I'm, I'm almost there. I'm almost back to not being sick. King, eh, we have to hear that. <laughs> I like these guys. Our YouTube advisor was worried that they'd be a little too fast talking for us to catch on, but, eh, we got this. You guys have schooled us enough on this that we're, we're learning. Look at their little lights back there, their little globes. Oh, the little world maps. You guys see that <laughs> on the strings? That's really cool. That's I want really some fascinating. with the Union flag on it. I want some lights to put back here. Oh, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. I want too many things. I'm sorry. I want for many things mm -hmm. in life. But everything has to do with the Union flag. It does. By the way, I know that there's a difference between the Union flag and the Union Jack. That's why I said the Union flag. So I happen to know, per my wonderful people in the comments section, mm -hmm. that the Union flag and the Union Jack, there is actually no wrong way to say it. However, I do know that saying Union Jack refers to the flag being on a ship. Ah. Did you know that? I remember reading that in the comments. Okay. So I'm just saying, that's why I said the Union. All right, let's get back to this video. I want to get back to where he says that. That's hilarious. <laughs> the first time England was split into what we now call counties was back in the 10th century when King Ethelstan wanted to make sure all the same laws were being obeyed and all the same taxes were being collected all across England. Which, curiously, is the opposite reason why you divide a nation up nowadays. He split his kingdom into bite-sized, manageable chunks and sent an earl to be in charge of each one of them. How they got their names tells you a bit about how they were formed. These were named after ethnic groups or old kingdoms that existed really? before England. These ones that end in sex <laughs> were part of the Saxon kingdoms which spread across the south of England. And these ones took their name from the most important town, the county town, and added the Anglo-Saxon word sheer on the end. The same word that sheriff comes from. Sheer, sheriff, sheriff, ooh. And for our American viewers, it's pronounced <laughs> sheer, not shire. Actually, okay, it's mister, I know that. Sheer, plebs. Over yeah. the centuries, these areas Wait, have been... Wait, what? Actually, it's pronounced sure, not sheer, plebs. Over the... Now I'm confused. <laughs> I thought I'd been saying this right the whole time. I was saying Yorkshire as a typical American would do. Yes. You guys taught me the right way. But I say Yorkshire. Mm -hmm. And then what did he just say? You're... What? He, he said something, something totally totally different. Well in there. He said something totally different. I want to hear that again. What did he just say? He said it different. It's pronounced sheer, not shire. Actually, sure. it's pronounced sure, not sheer. Now, sure? Yorkshire? Wait, what was I saying? Yorkshire. That's what you were saying. This okay. guy's saying sheer. Sheer? Yorkshire? Sheer. That's not like right. Shearing the sheep. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> How many pronunci pronunciations does one place okay. need to have? <laughs> Way too many. Simple. We live in Ohio. We'll go with sure. We live in Ohio. You know what it's, how it's pronounced? Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> We're a simple people. Simple folk. Too bad we don't know the Ohio State chair. <coughs> What's that? Too bad we don't know the Ohio State chair. Uh, we, um, we know that. We're just not doing that. Ohio sure. That's how you have <laughs> Cincinnati sure. Ohio sheer. Oh, no. <laughs> this is just too much. Let's go back. This is fascinating, though, too. Like, to... Based off ethnic groups. Mm-hmm. Huh. I'm actually learning a lot more than I ever thought I would ever in the history of my life learn about counties. <laughs> more than you ever wanted to know about a county. But this is fascinating. <laughs> this is awesome. Let's go back here to this part. <laughs> Sex <laughs> were part of the Saxon kingdoms which spread across the south of England. <clears throat> and these ones took their name from the most important town, the county town, and added the Anglo-Saxon word sheer on the end. The same word that sheriff comes from. Sheer, sheriff, sheriff, ooh. And for our American viewers, it's pronounced sheer, not shire. Actually, it's pronounced sure, not sheer, plebs. Over the centuries, these areas have been controlled by earls, dukes, sheriffs, lords, and at one point, counts, which is how they came to be known as counties. The precise location of exactly where one county stopped and another one started wasn't important. Oh my god, they showed the dukes of hazard on there. <laughs> oh, that's epic in so many ways. 
or by earls, dukes, sheriffs, lords, and at one point, counts, which is how they came to be known as counties. The precise location of exactly where one <laughs> county stopped and another one started wasn't important in those days. Nobody tried to draw the boundaries on a map until the 1080s when the Normans did a survey. Hello Norman, I've done a survey of all the people who say they live in Worcestershire. Thanks Norman, I'll just add that to my survey of all the people who say they live in Gloucestershire. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> and that's how the fuzzy county borders became sharp lines, but with lots of panhandles, detached areas, exclaves and squiggly bits. Okay. England's counties bits. varied massively in size. The biggest, Yorkshire, was half the size of Wales, and the smallest, Rutland, was roughly the size of a whale with zero cities and wow. frankly had no business being a county. Harsh. But these different didn't really matter until, in 1888, the Prime Minister Lord Salisbury established administrative counties, making democracy local. Each county would now have its own county council in the county town, in charge of local things like police, fire, council tax, and so on. But some counties were too... How many C's were in that sentence you just said? Uh, <laughs> if, you, if you drank, this would be a great drinking game. <laughs> Every time they use a word to start with a C... Every time they say counties. From now on... We're doing that. Oh. Okay? You this really want to drink that much Dr. Pepper? She's drinking Dr. Pepper. Don't get mad at us that we're not drinking <laughs> tea in the in the mug. Okay? Don't. Don't get mad at us. I'm drinking Perrier. <laughs> um, but no, we can't do that. We'll be literally sitting here. I'll just... be burping the entire episode. I have to smell it. I have to do it. Well, there was just so many C's in that sentence that I lost everything he just said. So we're in that just a tad. This is an awesome video. Thank you to YouTube advisor, we love you. In the county town, in charge of local things like police, fire, council tax, and so on. But some counties were too big to be easily manageable. Sussex got split into east and west. And Yorkshire was split into its historic ridings, a word that meant thirds. Thirdings, thirdings, ridings, ridings, yeah, that sort of works. In addition to this, big cities were given the status of county borough, which made them independent from the county they were in, effectively taking the Leicester out of Leicestershire, Derby out of Derbyshire, and Nottingham out of Nottinghamshire. So does this all mean that a united Yorkshire hasn't existed since 1888? Well, not exactly. Strap in. The new administrative counties did not replace the historic counties. Both okay. systems confusingly, confusingly coexisted, coexisted at the, at the same, same time. time. And the confusion was only going to get worse. Lots of towns in Britain had the same name. This often caused confusion, with many people's letters being delivered to the wrong place. Okay. Which is why from 18-something <laughs> onwards, the Royal Mail required that every address had to end with a county. But because huh. many post towns happened to spread inconveniently across county borders, the Royal Mail, for their own convenience, introduced the last thing Britain needed another county's map. The post office's counties didn't match up with the historic ones or the administrative ones. Oh, geez. For example, wow. the town of Ugly was in the county of Essex, but the address ended in Hertfordshire. Which meant there were now three interpretations of what county you lived in. Historical, administrative and or postal. As the centuries rolled on, the county system went from being confusing to being completely out of date. After the Industrial Revolution, Britain's new big cities were manspreading themselves across county borders. And many county towns were no longer the commercial powerhouses they used to be. The once mighty city of York had fallen to fifth place in non-existent Yorkshire. The counties didn't reflect 20th century Britain in any cultural, practical or meaningful sense. It was time for a complete shake-up. The year was 1972, a time of optimism and experimentation and the first episode of Rainbow. The Local Government Act of 1972 was a radical what attempt at cleaning that? up the complicated... <laughs> Roasted bananas with... Did they have cheese on it? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I think my head just exploded. I mean, I know that 70s were like experimental times. Oh so. gosh, we looked up some things last year. It was last year, I was like, we were looking up some stuff and I saw this um, <coughs> article on Facebook about in American foods that were popular for Christmas in like the 50s and 60s. Oh, <laughs> oh, we have got to show you guys that. <gasps> it was the most... Yeah, that was gross. Oh, everything was in gelatin molds. Yeah. Everything. And it was just... Seafood and fruit mixed together in a gel. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what the heck that was. Hold on, I'm not even going to put my earbuds Take on. Up. I just, I, the year I was 1972, a time of optimism and experimentation. What is, what is yep. this? What the heck? Um, is that banana? Looks like banana with like meat, some sort of meat, and some cheese. cheese. Why? <laughs> really don't care about the counties anymore. This is the focal point of this video. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> and they have normal stuff around there grapes, salad. But they normal. are like talking about the, still the counties, <laughs> like everything's normal. And then they throw this in there, like we didn't notice that. <laughs> 
just throw in the banana meat cheese casserole. Make sure <laughs> it's fine. You guys don't eat this, do you? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> this is a joke for the Americans watching the video just to see if they're paying attention, right? I mean... Hey, maybe we should have that for Thanksgiving. I'm not coming. To, I'm sick that day. <laughs> um, let's take a moment. Give me your hand, please. <laughs> this is a moment of silence for whatever this confection... Sorry, whoever ate that. Whoever ate this. I'm so sorry. Whoever ate this dish. <laughs> a moment of silence. Let's bow our heads. <laughs> oh god I'm like maybe it's a fruit roll up around there I don't know I'm trying to make something <clears throat> work for it there's no way to make that okay <laughs> there's no way and if we're insulting anyone I'm sorry but, sorry. but at the same time I'm a little offended <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no laughing gas was used during the making of this video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's oh. somehow get back to this. It's hard to get back to the counties now because the rest of the time I'm just going to have that in my head. Think about that casserole. <laughs> don't call it a casserole. Stay in the sea room. Please sea don't, don't call it a casserole. <laughs> You're making it too real. I'm enjoying this information and educational information we're getting here. <laughs> These guys are hysterical, and we have got to do more reactions by them. I hope you guys like them, because if you... Well, if you don't, I'm sorry, because we're going to be using them again. <laughs> the first time I've ever even heard of them, but... Um, huh. <laughs> I love their sense of humor. <laughs> well, let's get back into this, because I'm a little lost, though, too. Right over to that odd thing that just yeah. happened to us. Something about 1972. Let's go. Counties didn't reflect 20th century Britain in any cultural, practical, or meaningful sense. It was time for a complete shake-up. Hey, the year was 1972, a time of optimism up. and experimentation and the first episode of Rainbow. <laughs> the Local Government Act of 1972 was a radical attempt at cleaning up the complicated, outdated counties mess both once and for all. Brand new metropolitan counties sprang into existence, with modern sounding names like Merseyside, Greater Manchester, West Midlands and Tyne and Weir. London, of course, wasn't included in any of this, as they'd already done their own thing ten years earlier, which Dave has previously discussed on a video he made without me. At the same time, several traditional counties vanished overnight. It was county carnage. Huntingdonshire got eaten by Cambridgeshire, <laughs> Hereford got anded with Worcester, Cumberland, Westmoreland and this lump of Lancashire were all merged and given the horrible new name Cumbria. And silly little Rutland was sensibly absorbed by Leicestershire. Chances are nobody would have Battenberg denied it at yet another change to Britain's local authorities, but the government made a big mistake. They messed with Yorkshire. Yorkshire's borders got a complete meddling, creating a new South Yorkshire, which was cheeky. But when the East Riding got taken out of Yorkshire altogether and became part oh. of the new Humberside, that Ooh. was not on. Ooh. It was off. The previously Yorkshirean residents of Hull were not at all keen to be lumped with Grimsby on the other side of the River Humber. It was a particularly bizarre... I'm just going to pause there just for a second because, you know, like where we live, we're... We're in Hamilton County. Mm -hmm. and I wouldn't want to be wrapped up with a different county around us. That would tick me off. So I can imagine that would be something that would really make people upset. What? Okay. What? They have lower taxes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm proud of... I mean, I've lived in this... This is where the county I was born in. It's, you know, it's just... I'm going to go back to the video here. <laughs> of Hull were not at all keen to be lumped with Grimsby on the other side of the River Humber. It was a particularly bizarre union given the Humber Bridge connecting the two sides hadn't even been built yet. There was an anti-Humberside campaign, and even anti-Humberside graffiti. Oh, wow. All this kerfuffle forced <laughs> the government's hand, <laughs> and in 1996, Humberside quietly disappeared. As did ah. other unpopular experiments like Cleveland and Avon. Hereford and Worcester <laughs> once again became Hereford and Worcester. Sure, even ridiculous Rutland <laughs> regained its status as England's smallest county. The shake-up of 1972 designed to simplify things did nothing of the sort, instead marking the beginning of an era where county borders, names and powers have been changing on an ever-increasing basis. England today has nine regions comprising 47 ceremonial counties alongside six metropolitan counties comprising 36 metropolitan districts, 26 non-metropolitan counties comprising 192 non-metropolitan districts and 56 unitary authorities, not including Greater London which is a ceremonial county and not a county, comprising 32 boroughs and the City of London which is a district and a county and not a ceremonial county and we haven't even talked about Scotland, Wales or Northern Ireland where it's different. Absolute state of this. 
Although it may seem more impossible than ever to tell what oh, no. and isn't a county, according to this particularly aggressive map publisher, <coughs> it's very simple. Our historic counties have never been affected, nor their boundaries changed by the endless shifting of local government boundaries over the past hundred years. This is a view shared by the increasingly exasperated Association of British Counties, who seek to give every county a county day, teach counties to school children, fly county flags in every county, stop using the word <laughs> county for local authorities who are not proper counties. Fruitcakes. The reality is, unless you live in a county that's particularly unusually proud of itself, like Yorkshire, in general not much of a monkey's is given about the county you live in. And that might be because it just doesn't really matter. It's not like the USA, where laws vary from one state to the next. Even though oh, really? doesn't care anymore, thanks to postcodes- Okay, so I'm glad you said that. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. But he said states. Huh? Well, our states' laws vary more than our county laws do. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> of a monkey's is given about the county you live in. And that might be because it just doesn't really matter. It's not like the USA, where laws vary from one state to the next. Okay, that's true. But I thought he was referring to counties in the same... Maybe he doesn't know that counties... Our counties' laws don't change as much as ours do. From but they are different in different counties, right? The laws? Are they? He said they don't vary as much. As much? Right. As our state's laws do. Just like our county laws. Right. The change, but really not yeah. so much. The I biggest mean, change is taxes. Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. From county to county. That's true. And the taxes you pay depends on what county you live in. Yeah, we do live in the higher ones. So I take back what I said about merging. I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry about that. I just, I hear, fa I think faster than I hear. You do. So I apologize. And that's okay. That's why we're learning together. Learning. Learn. It might be because it just doesn't really matter. It's not like the USA, where laws vary from one state to the next. Even Royal Mail doesn't care anymore. Thanks to postcodes, putting a county on your address has been unnecessary since 1996. Oh, okay. Despite the boxes they make you fill in on Amazon. But just because they're not important doesn't mean we should forget about them. Present day knowledge and understanding of English counties is in an abysmal state. That's we stopped cool. over four people on the street and not a single one of them could faultlessly <laughs> name every single county in England and its county town. Well, we think that's a terrible shame and it's about time something was done about it. Oh, there's <laughs> Leicestershire, Oxfordshire, Rutland and... Thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> I concur. Knock, knock. Who's we should that? do that. Sir. Okay, this sir. is an ad. I was sir, told there's an ad with sock puppets, browser so we're done there. That's That was awesome. That was fun. That was beyond fun. Um, man, learning is so cool. <laughs> it definitely That's my is. statement of the day. No, that was a lot of information. Uh, we've never had to put our counties on our um, postal stuff. Postal stuff. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Mail. The word mail is what I was looking Not for. Not that I'm aware of. I mean, there <laughs> might have been back in... Well, I'm just saying... Who knows when. In you know, the last 40, 50 mm -hmm. years, we haven't had to do no. that. Um, sadly, we've been around that long. Especially with the postal zip codes. Everybody yeah. Needs to do that. Zip codes, you need that. But we've never had to do the county. So it did sound like there for a while. Like, of course, this was a while back. Um, I think 1800s, they said. Or even before that. Or after that. Um, people were having a hard time getting their mail. <laughs> You know, like there was a real disaster there going on, which I mean, I'm sure you know. That would be confusing. Well, yeah, obviously, you guys probably came up with the whole county thing, and we followed suit here. Um, mm -hmm. But thank you for making the mess before we did. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for I mean, figuring it out. Thanks for figuring that out for us. We benefit from that and getting our mail. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, that, I thought that was incredibly fun, incredibly interesting. I hope you guys liked that. Please like the video if you did. And again, yeah, um, consider subscribing. Um, I do want to take a second to thank you guys for your incredible, um, your, your in incredible compassion um, for the live video mm -hmm. I just did the other day um, in regards to why Christmas is my nightmare. Um, I thank you so much. Some of you um, were just overwhelming to me with some of your comments. I yeah. just really appreciate you guys for your, your compassion with something so delicate. And I just want to say this too. A lot of people were saying um, in the video after the fact that you think I'm being too hard on myself, have a lot of guilt. I, I don't have blame guilt anymore. I mean, of course I have the guilt. We all have guilt. It's just a human, yeah. it's a human thing. We're all going to have it. I don't beat myself up over this anymore. I don't. So I don't want you to think that I'm having any issues in that regard. It's just a hard, hard day. 
Mm-hmm. You know, and if you don't know what I'm referring to, please go back and watch it. If you feel like it, it's not the happiest of videos, um, no. but it does explain that I did lose my mom on Christmas Day in 2018. So, um, but thank you guys again so much for watching that and being so gentle with my feelings. And I appreciate you guys so very much. Um, hey, we'll see you Wednesday for Freddie Mercury's 30th anniversary of his passing. I, I don't like the word anniversary for something like that, but no. but the 30th anniversary of him leaving us, unfortunately. But we hope you'll be here for that. I'm going to plan something special for you. Wear your queen gear. Again, if you're not a queen fan, please come anyway because you're going to like what we're doing. We're going to do something My fun. Heart. Yeah. It's and um, kind and appreciation. We will see you. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. And stay beautiful. You're beautiful people. We love you. Until well, next time. Bye-bye.